and welcome to another edition of, of Carbs here on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad sign here. We have a brand new item from 7-Eleven. Before we get started, though, I want to give a shout out to a band called Eleven After. Up oh, there, wait, wait, wait. You guys sent me a couple of these little armbands, also their CD and a t-shirt, and I got to listen to their music and I like it, it's good stuff. So their Facebook fan page will be in the description down below, and I believe a place in which you can purchase their music I'm going to look for as well. But uh, check them out, they're fans of the show, they're good dudes, and let's move on to the review. This is the Big Bite Bacon Wrapped Hot Dog. I think it's Bacon Wrapped Big Bite, but... Uh, I'm dumb and I forgot to get any condiments on it. I bought this thing and then I just walked out and I'm dumb. So it's gonna be really dry and that's my fault. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to give them the benefit of the doubt. But uh, I do like 7-Eleven and their, uh, their hot dog variants specifically. Maybe not so much the pizza, but the, their hot dogs are good. It's not something I get more than maybe once a year. It's like, it's like either it's a whim or uh, sometimes you're, you're just really late at night and all they have left are hot dogs. This is interesting just because they wrapped it in bacon. And I've had ba bacon wrapped hot dogs before. They're really good. But will 7-Eleven's variant be just as good? Let's try it out right now. The bacon wrapped big bite hot dog from 7-Eleven. Brand spanking new. It's not bad at all, actually. Mm -hmm. I tried to get more bacon hot dog than uh, the bun. The hot dog does outweigh, in taste-wise, outweigh the, the bacon. The bacon, you do taste it. But it's, it's like 80% hot dog, 20% bacon. So in a way, it does kind of taste almost like pointless because you're just, you're just tasting a regular 7-Eleven hot dog, which I do like them. But this is, to me, this is kind of a gimmick item at best. It's not horrible, though. I mean, I do like adding bacon to stuff. It usually does improve things. Let's get one more big bite. It's solid. It's actually way above solid. I would give this a 4 out of 5. It's a pretty good tasting hot dog. I'm sure a lot of people would be like, 7-Eleven hot dogs, maybe I don't trust them. They've probably been sitting there for a while. I've never had an issue with a hot dog from 7-Eleven. I do enjoy them. So I think it is worth your time. It is worth your money. They are fairly cheap. It's only a couple bucks for a hot dog, which for a hot dog that size is pretty good. And if you don't have a Wiener Central by you, that's pretty much bottom of the barrel choices when it comes to California. If you're in like New York and stuff, you got hot dogs all over the place, or even like in Los Angeles, there's tons of hot dog like vendors walking around and stuff, although I wouldn't trust them. But you know, the, your options are limited as far as Southern California is concerned out in where I'm at, which is like the uh, Ontario Ranch of Cucamonga area. Just very limited. So for what this is, it's good, especially if you add a bunch of stuff to it with mustard, ketchup, and even like, oh, I love putting cheese in my uh, hot dogs as well. Oh, so good wrapped in cheese. Imagine wrapped in bacon, wrapped in cheese. That would be awesome. But there you go, guys. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs and Reckless Eating. What are your thoughts on the Big Bite Bacon Wrapped Hot Dog at 7-Eleven? Let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating!